Welcome to the Morning Offering with Father Kirby, your daily call to prayer. Pray with us every day right here on the podcast and in your inbox. Learn more at morningoffering.com. Greetings, friends. Welcome to the Morning Offering with Father Kirby. Today is Tuesday, May 9th, and today I'd like to talk about one of the titles of the Blessed Virgin Mary. But first, let's pray together. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. O Jesus, through the Immaculate Heart of Mary, I offer you my prayers, works, joys, and sufferings of this day for all the intentions of your sacred heart in union with the holy sacrifice of the Mass throughout the world for the salvation of souls, the reparation of sins, the reunion of all Christians, and in particular for the intentions of the Holy Father this month. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So, dear friends, we are in the devotional month of Our Lady. May is Mary's month. And in honor of that, I'd like to highlight one of the titles of the Blessed Virgin Mary, the title of First Disciple. Now, this is a relatively new title given to Our Lady. Now, certainly we can go to the Gospels and we can see the basis of this title, but it's really been more recently, especially under Pope St. John Paul II, that the title of First Disciple has been really given and emphasized in the life of the Church. And of course, the reason why this emphasis is given is because the Church is trying to retrieve and highlight again the importance of discipleship, what it means to follow the Lord Jesus, to love and to serve him. And no one loved or followed the Lord Jesus better than the Blessed Virgin Mary. Do you remember the account in our Lord's public ministry where the person yelled out and said, blessed are the breasts that fed you and the womb that carried you. And our Lord said, blessed rather are they who hear the word of God and know that it will be fulfilled. Some of these people hear that and they say, oh, he's completely dismissing Mary. Not so. Look at the context. He's actually giving Our Lady a double affirmation not simply her motherhood, but also her discipleship, that she simply didn't just carry our Lord in her womb or feed him from her breasts. She was a disciple. She heard the word of God and knew that it would be fulfilled. And she's a model for us as first disciple of what we're called to be, that we're called to hear the word of God and to trust and to believe that it will be fulfilled. There's a lot of things in our world that demand our obedience and our trust, and sometimes they can be contrary to the will of God, We are called to dismiss the things that are contrary. We are called not to compromise. Instead, we are called to hear the word of God and trust that we will be fulfilled. We're called to be disciples, and Our Lady models that. So how appropriate that we have this beautiful title of First Disciple for the Blessed Virgin Mary. In your discipleship today, have you been hearing the word of God? Have you been trusting that it will be fulfilled? Let's all turn to the Blessed Virgin Mary, the First Disciple, and ask for her intercession and for the help of her prayers. Those are our thoughts for today, dear friends. I want to thank you for joining me. I encourage you, keep fighting a good fight. And remember, you can receive your daily prayer support sent right to your inbox whenever you subscribe to The Morning Offering at morningoffering.com. God bless you. The Morning Offering with Father Kirby is a production of Good Catholic, the media division of The Catholic Company. For more faith-filled podcasts and videos, visit goodcatholic.com.